Welcome back to the beach, folks. It's just a lovely day here on the rainy-ass beach, apparently. It never stops raining here. Um, let's see, what do we have going on? I did a few things off-screen, not much. Mostly just uh, adjusted the stockpiles that I had put all those worthless wheelbarrows in. And I set up a few bedrooms in here. Or put a few beds in here anyways, that way we can turn it into, not a barracks, but a dormitory. The military will get their fully fleshed out barracks soon enough, I just don't know where I'm going to build it. I may end up building their barracks like right here, walling this off. A cloud of dust has drifted nearby, but walling off this part, and um... Yeah, just putting beds and training dummies in there, putting a, a ceiling on it, and maybe some ramparts up top. That way they can guard this area, because what I want to build down here is... Um, we're going to get going with the scrapyards finally. I think I've waited long enough for these. And the question is, where do I want to build these? Hmm... I guess I'll have to build them all over here. We'll build them along the wall, I guess. I'm going to try to leave better spaces between them this time. Because uh, the stockpiles that are going to go between the scrapyards will hopefully have uh, the scrap. So <laughs> the items they need to do their job will already be right there, hopefully. See, I'm going to set up a lot of these. No point in going small with this. We want as much scrap processed and as quickly as possible. So, we'll get all those built there. And let's see, wood. I, be I, I believe I can set it up so that it only takes scrap. And I'm, I think that's how it would work. I haven't actually tried this. Let's see. Scrap piles. There we go. Now, I, I could be screwing this up. It's possible that the scrap yards will also use some type of wood. But, um, I'm doubting it. Actually, wait a second. Okay, I need to place a custom stockpile. And, let's see. Can I make this whole thing a stockpile right there? Yeah, I can. I prefer it, if I'm going to have a, a large stockpile, I prefer it to be in one piece, kind of. As much as possible, anyways. So there we go. And I will put one wheelbarrow there and another wheelbarrow there. There we go. That'll work. We probably don't have very much scrap, if any. But, it shouldn't be long before we get some chopped down, or dug up. Got all of this scrap here, look at all of that. Scrap pile. We are just barely on the edge there, I'm going to have them chop down all that too. Pretty good chance that one of our woodcutters out there will eventually be ambushed and killed, but... That's the price we're going to pay, apparently. Let's see, it's still late winter. It's about to switch over to the new year. And I, I am surprised that we haven't had a thief at least show up. Or a baby snatcher. What do you mean the vault citizens were unable? What? What? Apparently somebody stole the piece, the uh, rock that they were going to use there. Which is pretty weird, because normally as soon as you place an item, the dwarf uh, automatically claims that stone or piece of wood so that nobody else can pick it up. But look at that beauty. Look at all of that majestic scrap yarding, or whatever you want to call it. Let's see, we'll kind of, I will kind of wall it off. I think I can use andesite. It'll, it should be maybe the same color. If it's not, oh well. And I guess I might as well 
Let's see. Leave just a two wide gap there. That way I can have double doors. And I don't really feel like designating a whole bunch of building just yet. One of the things I'm going to be doing probably in this video is pausing it and doing a whole bunch of off-screen designating for building rooms and uh, setting up walls and flooring here. Because I don't like to screw with that stuff while I'm recording. I have a lot more fun whenever I can just sit there and look at it for a while. <laughs> oh, let's see. Has this... Okay, that one was suspended. I think... Oh, wait a second. Did we capture something? We have an albino bighorner and two premium bighorners. Wow. Okay. J. Clar. You get to training. And... How's the pasture doing here? It's got the black cows in it. I don't think we have anything else that needs to go down there. Just puppies, clap... We have another clap trap, apparently. That's good to know. Running around somewhere. Uh, that old, rusted, dead scrap... Scra yeah, it's a scrap trap now down there. Okay. And that cage trap just got cancelled. That's fine. I, we don't really need it there. I may dismantle these cage traps as well before too much longer. And actually think about tearing out this rock wall here. I'm still not sure. Um, if I even want it there. Hmm. I, I was going to say I could try to build the minecart, but... I think what I I think what I need to do with the mine track is put it one Z level over the scrapyards. I'm still not sure. I st I'm still thinking and plotting and scheming on how to get this mine track to work without taking too many tries to get it right. Like, what if we built it one Z level over the scrapyards here? At minimum, and then it'll run down here, and then it'll launch across the bay. But it would have to come, it would have to build height and speed from back here, I think, right? I'm not see. I'm not even sure how far the mine cart will carry speed. Like if I give it a huge drop right here, will it carry it all the way through, or does it burn it off pretty quickly? Hmm. Now see, if I was smart, I would do small experiments, you know, a small mine track here, a small mine track there. But I kind of want to plan out just the big thing and have it all done at once. It'll also be a whole lot more gruesome that way, I'm sure. A lot of sparring going on between Variax and Ilgar. I don't think they ever stop. Are they good friends or something by chance? Let's see. Youngest, youngest, youngest. Passing acquaintance. Nope. Doesn't really have any friends. Just a passing acquaintance with Variax. And they like sparring with each other. Round and around they go. They collide and tumble backwards. Variax presses the attack, driving Ilgar down into the dirt. Stuns him and then takes off. And let's see, another dust storm is approaching. There's a lot of dust storms over on the scraplands. But again, thankfully, it's not radioactive dust storms. It could be worse. Hmm, we have one idler. I'm not going to turn on the scrapyards just yet. Let's see, wood, we can make coal, we can scavenge scrap. Prospect rocks. I don't really have enough rocks right now, I think, to just piss away on prospecting, but I might in another video or so if we survive that long. I'm kind of expecting to be raided and killed at any point by something. What do we have on the map? Just ravens and crabs. And the vulture has once again reverted to a wild state. Well, I can't be too surprised about that. I don't think he's been let out of the cage. <laughs> Is he still up there? 
We got a premium big horner. We have two premium big horners there. A vulture and albino big horner. I thought that I thought that I claimed these. There we go. Get my hot keys right. See, I've got them claimed. Maybe what I need is a stockpile for animals. That's probably it. Sometimes I forget some of these little minor things. Whoops. No, that hospital zone is active. Okay. Animals. We'll just run them along the edge right there. And maybe hopefully somebody will take care of them. I'd like those big horners to be set free. That way we can start getting baby big horners on the way. Get a big horner industry going. We'll have to constantly move them from pasture to pasture and help ensure that they always have a place to graze. What do we got? Fire geckos. Okay. Hopefully, um, okay, maybe they're actually trapped on that side of the river. I'm gonna, we're going to find out. That many fire geckos could pose a real problem. Because I don't have any way to seal them out. The vault citizens of the Virginal Helm now know a few facts about vulture training. Good job, J. Clark. You are doing the vault civilization proud. Okay, if they come across that water there, we're in trouble. However, it looks like it will act as a boundary for them. Good. See, if the, those could easily spawn right behind our, our vault here. And some more migrants, really? Holy crap. You've got to be joking me. Okay, I'm going to show you guys Dwarf Therapist here. I normally don't bring this on screen, but look at this. I just got a wave of 33 migrants. You've got to be joking me. Okay, um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to pause this and take care of this. This is, this is a lot of names and things to hand out and a lot of jobs to assign. Oh boy, 33 migrants in one wave? I think the game wants us to die. Okay, well, I've got the migrant tidal wave under control, I think. Everybody is named and has a title. That way I can pick out who's doing what in the stone sense window, or the sound sense window. And uh, kind of beefed up the military a little bit. I added two more people to each squad. Um, in fact, you know what? Let's, let's give each squad six people. They probably need it. Uh, let's see, Chode Stomper, you can go there. He's a skilled spearman. And let's see, who else has some weapon skills that we don't mind parting with? DJ Lepio, a competent swordsman. I probably don't have weapons for everyone in the military just yet, but they can grab something if they want. Or if they don't want, I I I can't really force them. I don't think. Yeah, you can see all of these people carrying stones right now. I decided to also go ahead and just designate this top floor area out. And this place will soon ho be housing some military down there, hopefully training. Could even give them a little window out to the ocean if we wanted to that could wash the blood away. Got all types of different possibilities here. Hmm, what else do we want to do? Do we have anything else to worry about? No, just those fire geckos still. See, I, I also wish that I had a military squad, and hopefully eventually we will, that would be able to go out there and fight those geckos directly. I'm pretty sure that if I sent either of my squads out there right now, they would both just get completely destroyed. And there goes my name is No. No idea what he was doing out th What are they doing out there? I must have set them to cut down some trees out there or something. We have a ton of lumber just laying around. Good. Excellent. 
Let's see, what am I, how are my stockpiles doing? Oh yeah, I did also dig out a little bit of earth here. Even though I, I know I don't, I know I don't need to plant farms and soil now, uh, this is where the farms are going to be. And we need to start growing food down here, stat, because with the population boom that we've got, it's not going to take very long to deplete the uh, little bit of food that we do have. Was, I wasn't expecting to be bombarded by this many migrants just yet. Get that dug out. It'll be a nice little garden plot area. Might even do some butchering in there. I don't know yet. Uh, the wood stockpile is not the best. I don't think I need a wheelbarrow there at all. Okay, good, I don't. It's just set in there, but it's not actually being used. The dining hall area, got tons of people running around. The, se the new security chief is Singen, who took over for Alex after Alex was brutally destroyed by a vulture, I think. So, let's see, that's Danny, Gargles, Metroline. I'm gonna have to kick one of these people out of their bedroom, I think. Nico. Yeah. Because all of these bedrooms are already claimed, but let's see. J. Clark, he's our good animal trainer, so he gets to keep that room. Danny's place. He. does not need this bedroom. Sorry, that is now Singen's room. Danny, you can go find yourself a new room to live in. Hopefully people will use the dormitory there. But I wouldn't really count on it. I don't know if they will or not. They might just decide to sleep under the tables in the dining hall. Um, let's see, what else should we make, though? A tinkerer's bench. Could start making some of that stuff out here. You know, maybe the next thing I need to do, actually, is get... Uh, not a dust cloud, but get a work area designated out where I could build a few workshops. Um, let's see, how close is that? That's pretty close to the bedrooms. I don't think it actually matters, though, because I don't think that sound is an issue anymore. I don't think it has been for quite some time. Um, let's see. I just don't know where to build all this stuff. I... I could build some houses up here, I guess. Or some maybe some workshops up here on the surface. In fact, I could make even... I could just say that this building right here is the research building instead of the military. Um, you know what? I think I will. This is the research building, so... Let's see. We'll have a tinkerer's workbench right there. Make it out of andesite. And another one pretty much right next to it. I don't know if, if, um, I don't even know if I need multiple ones, let's see. Sewage plant, can't build that. Sawmill, needs blueprints, needs computer parts. The inventor's bench. Okay. Place that right next to the tinkerer's workshop. What else do we got? The gunsmith's forge, needs blueprints. Generator, needs blueprints and a rod. I don't really think I need a furniture workshop just yet. Computer terminal, computer parts, chemical lab blueprints, computer parts. We'll be getting computer parts soon enough, I think. Because I think it's also time to scavenge scrap on all of these things. I may not have any scrap cut down, but I, I can't believe that I don't. There has to be scrap that I've cut down. Even though I don't see any scrap being placed in that stockpile right there. Oh wait, there they go, they're taking it, I'm pretty sure. There must be some scrap in there somewhere. Let's see, what's my stockpile say actually, about that? What would that be under logs? I have 11 scrap logs, that's not too bad. I was really hoping that we would have more cut down... 
by now. Yugi Man, he's taken by a mood and withdraws from society. What are they do? Are they really going all the way over there for drinking? Huh. You know what? Why, why don't I just... I really need a well is what I need. I'm going to make that a water source. So that hopefully maybe people will stop. I've been wondering what they were doing over here. I mean, I've seen them pathing through here occasionally when my screen flips through, but I did not know that there was a party going on drinking from the river. They're lucky that the fire geckos didn't come across the other side and start flinging their fireballs at them. Another dust cloud drifts in. It's 372 mid-spring. And we're doing pretty well, actually. I think. The, f the fortress design is a complete disaster, but... Let's see. Um, pretty sure that's Yugi Man, yeah. For some reason, Yugi Man lost his name, but he claimed a craftsman's workshop. Yugi Man. Dabbling grower, dabbling mechanic, and a dabbling swimmer. <coughs> Thankfully, we've got everything that he needs because he takes off after it to go grab it. We're out of alcohol. Or s okay. I gotta stop talking and get to plotting here. Farm plotting, that is. Um, I was hoping for more soil than this. But this will have to do for now. I could spill some water down here and fertilize that land, but, um, let's see, can I get another row built, maybe? They need to dig that out quickly. <laughs> You're wasting too much time. We're gonna starve to death. There won't be anything I can do about it. Okay, cave, cave fungi... Cave fungi, cave... Everything over here on the left side of the farm screen, on the, on this room, this farm room, probably all going to be cave fungus. The right side can be for soybeans. And yes, we have a bunch of farmers now. I made that entire migrant wave of farmers. Because it's their fault. Ooh, we got a foul bull, brahmin bull, and albino cow... Good lord. Jaclar, you have your work cut out for you. What else do we have? Um, I think that that is about it. A vulture trained. Wish I had something I could train for war, dang it. We better be able to train those puppies for war whenever they grow up. I'll be pretty sad if we can't. Needs scrap logs. So we're already out of scrap logs. Um, I have no idea how to find out what I got from the scrapyard. That's kind of one of the problems I was having. Let's see. I didn't get any dead robot parts. I didn't get any gems or junks, computer parts. If I did, I'd be able to use them over at the tinkerer's workbench here, but everything is red, so maybe somebody will build that um, inventor's workshop soon. I think the inventor's workshop is where we open crates at, maybe? Yeah. We can have them prospect rocks, I guess. I'll have a couple of them prospecting rocks. Not, not all of them. That can burn through the rocks pretty quickly. And actually... Maybe I should go ahead and make this stockpile simply be for rocks. Right there. Whoops. Should probably set the custom stockpile settings first, so... I don't need any wood. We'll disable that. Stone, yes. Um... Dis... Wait, no. What do I do? Forbid clay. I don't think we can scavenge your prospect clay. Other stone, I think we can use that. 
economic. I don't care if they use. Actually, you know what? Whoops. I don't know my hotkeys here. Okay, no coal, no peat, no lignite. Pretty sure I can use those for uh, furnaces. Everything else can be put up there, though. And hopefully they'll grab from that stockpile. Wait a second. I didn't place the stockpile. There we go. Now it's placed, and I'll set two will barrows to it, because that one, that stockpile is probably going to constantly have people running to it and from it, grinding up rocks, looking for computer parts and stuff. Wow, that guy is quick. Excoot, he's scooting along. I cannot believe that he is that fast. Good lord. Let's see, Baramus Octoronalus is his real name. 21 years old, born on 24th of Galena. Um, husband is Nico Varela. Live Lord's their daughter. Just extremely quick. Amazingly agile and mighty. Execute? I might have to put Execute in the military with stats like that be able to run circles around um, the enemies that show up. Tons of sparring going on. The military doesn't hold back. Hey, and this is built. So, from all of those scrap logs that we scavenged, I found at least one military crate. We'll set that to be opened right there. And uh, crates can have good things in them. They can also have real bad things, I believe. Live Lord, opening a military crate. That youngster's got spunk. He didn't wait for someone else to step up and do it. He took the crate himself. Question is, did we get anything? Not from there. See, I don't know how to actually check. I don't think it'll I don't think it'll tell you that you found blueprints or computer parts, but I could be wrong. Needs. Okay, so we're out of military crates. From all those logs, we only got two military crates. And I don't think we got any parts from them. Nope. Oh, well. What do I need to research? I need a hollow disc. Yeah, I didn't get any hollow discs either, did I? <coughs> we need to... We have a lot more scavenging to do. Let's see. Razor... NZ, he's grabbing the wheelbarrow. Quickly, fill that stockpile up. You know, I'll probably have to change the settings. I'll probably do that off screen because I don't think they can prospect native aluminum. I'll tweak the settings later. But that's all they're going to grab for now, isn't it? They're going to grab all of that stuff that's around, huh? Okay, let me... I guess I'll just quickly change that here then. So, what don't I need? Scrap metal, yes. No nuggets, no aluminum, no silver. Um, obsidian, raw in obtainium, no. They probably can't scavenge that any, anyways. Petrified wood, sure. Okay. Now get that aluminum off of there. And let's get to work here. You guys are wasting time. Ooh, good. The wall's almost... Or the... At least the top floor is almost done here. I could have... Um, well, actually, you know... Uh, this could be... This could be like a rail station entrance. A ghoul caravan has arrived. But they buy... Why is it inaccessible? Good lord, look at all those trees waiting to be chopped down. So they can't get to us. Somebody said that it was because... Possibly because of... I have... Oh wait, I don't have a trade depot. Somehow I accidentally forbid that. I don't know how that happened. I thought I had checked that like three times to make sure that I didn't accidentally forbid that. But apparently not. 
I was going to say, maybe they can't get through here. Maybe because even though we've blocked the waves off, the game still registers it as waves going through here and their, their wagon still can't walk on it. Oh, wait. Hang on. There's something that I always forget. Let's see. How do I check it? Um, dust storm. No. There is a way. View announcements. I always forget this because I almost never need it. Zones. Depot access. There we go. Yeah, they've got access to the depot. And it's, it's an accessible depot. Ooh, wow, they cannot go through there at all. Yeah, so wagons cannot go on beaches, period. Or of what? Okay, so apparently we just have the tiniest of wagon access from the north there. Wow, this is horrible. Nowhere on the map. Except that one place that we've built is this is the only place on the entire map with I don't I don't know what's going on here. It's possible that the trees are too thick over here for them to get a wagon through. That might be it. I wish they would chop down all of these trees quicker. All of this scrap. Another dust cloud? People are fighting. The Brahmin is fighting. Kick Calderon, I think. Don't mess with the Brahmin unless you're willing to get the horns. And thankfully, I don't think anybody did get the horns. Is anybody hiding in here? No. Okay, so I actually have to place these cages, don't I, in order to let them out. They won't just... There's no way for me to let them out here. Okay. Well, I can't remember actually how... Okay, cage is J. So I can never remember the hotkeys. Okay, the premium... One can go there. Albino. We have a lot. A lot more cages than I thought. A large rat. I didn't know we had one of those. I'll have to set it up to be trained before I release it. Premium bighorn. Look at all these animals. A vulture. Premium bighorner. Some more large rats. And a foul bull. Wow. How many of those are waiting to be trained? Okay, you know what? Any trainer can go ahead and train these things. I just I just want them trained for now. And I'm sure that Jay Clark can do a great job, and he'll probably be the one who actually uh, gets them to train them. Jake Dog is training a large rat. Took a piece of food over to it. Did he tame it? Did it work that easy? No, not yet. It'll take a few more tries, apparently. The large rat is fighting. So we've got rats and bighorners trying to force their way into our little fortress here. The vault citizens of the Virginal Helm now know a few facts about large rat training. Good job, Jake Dog. You too are doing our civilization a great service here. Hopefully the ocean breeze presses that cloud away. Destroys it. No? Damn. We took a direct hit right there. See everybody falling over and coughing. Wheezing and gagging. The poor iguanas. You'd think they'd be used to it, but oh no. Even they get a mouthful of sand and have to sit there and think about it for a bit. So am I going to have to make a lot more cages? Because we are capturing a lot of things. Thief? What do you mean? Wait, where's a thief? Aha, uh -huh, we captured a thief in a cage trap. I'm guessing that I cannot... Um, I'm guessing that I can't tame a thief. Ooh, I can make war... Oh, wait. No, I can't. 
I saw the W there and I thought that meant war training. I was gonna take some more rats, that would be awesome. Okay. So yeah, also, let me go ahead and queue up some more cages here. A bunch of them. And... Yugi Man, I really hope that he makes the item that he wants. If he doesn't, he's probably gonna find himself thrown in the water down here. Because the military is right there at all times, just waiting for somebody to screw up. So, Stray. This one's tame. Um, okay, we'll let that one out. This one's tame. This one's tame. The large rat is trained, but not tame yet. So I, I don't want to let any of the... The Stray Vulture is trained. I'm not going to let it out. Large rat is semi-wild. There we go. Let all of those animals out there. And... I need to rem make sure I've got them all assigned to the correct place. Um, no. Large rat trainees. I'm not gonna... We have an Enclave member. That's what we've captured. Okay, the foul bull, the Brahmin calf. Those Brahmins. The albino cow... The salamander, I'm going to assume, is the same as a, um, an iguana, meaning a varmint, hunt, a varmint hunter, vermin hunter, whatever you want to call them. And they can just run around and be free. We have a Mr. Handy and a Mr. Sturdy now. All of these premium bighorners. The vulture can stay... I can't believe the number of bighorners that we've got. I'm going to have to make a larger pasture soon. Somewhere out here. Did my farms get... Yes, okay. Let's go ahead and get some more farms placed, too. This is going to be a... I don't want, to... I don't want plots that are too big, because what ends up happening is... I will run out of seeds, and then I'll have a huge plot sitting there taking up space that I can't actually grow anything in. Having a lot of different sized plots. Make it so that you can constantly shift between your different seeds. <coughs> Without having to go back and manually readjust every plot whenever you notice that you're out of seeds. So, one more time. How many seeds do we have? Plenty of cave fungi spawns. Soybean is up to... We have 60. We're almost out of hemp seeds up there. I really hope they're doing something with all that hemp. And that it's not just going to waste. Um, yeah. Soybeans all over the place. I guess this middle one can be cave fungi. And I, I doubt that this will be enough food plots to feed everybody. So... Seeing as how I'm thinking that right now, I might as well place another plot right here. Maybe more cave fungi in that one, too. Feed them so much of it, they get sick of it. And then want to tantrum and kill each other. Look how fast they plant those fields. I'm pretty sure we'll be fine. Let's see. I'm Chim, Max Red, the Chode Stomper. I thought he was in the military. He must have the season off or something. My military is training, right? Okay, yeah. Wait a second. Yeah, okay. Each squad has one person in the squad that does not train. So they train five at a time and then one person gets the, a season off or a week off or whatever it is that the schedule goes by. I think it goes by seasons. Kind of a way to, I guess, help alleviate the stress of some of them constantly being on duty. Because I know it does get to some of them. Hey, somebody is using it. It's RAR 359. Off screen, I'm probably going to designate a whole bunch more rooms to be built. 
We need way more bedrooms. The dining hall. How many ten? Oh, okay. I was going to say, I'm glad I looked here because... Um, I've got several workshops down there set to pump out, I think, tables and chairs. Infinitely. And it looks like we might have just enough to complete two rows here. There we go. In case. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait one second. I need more tables, I think. I don't know if you guys saw, but there's a huge chunk here missing. Yep. Oh, I need one more table. Okay, but I don't need any chairs. No more thrones from you. However, pump out as many coffers as you can. You pump out more coffers and... Yes. And cages and... A bunch of beds, please. Well, Yugi Man, does he does he still need something? Pictures of rough gems, a stacked cloth. Well, it never said that he is beginning construction. Pictures of rough gems, a stacked cloth, a quarry. That means rocks, I think. Rough gems, stacked. I don't know if we have cloth. Look at all those big horner running around down there. Wow. Okay. I'm also going to assign this as a pasture. Put some of the... Okay, we don't need a war dog down there anymore. I'll put the foul bull down here. Clap traps I don't think need to eat. Yeah, we'll just move some of them over there. I'm worried about them all starving to death right there. Wait, we do have merchants, don't we? Um, we have a bunch of mugs. So... The ropes I will keep. Wait, 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 wait. Jugs? Jugs and mugs. Okay. I want to keep the jugs fact, but I just sort by mugs here. There we go. I'm not going to get very much value whenever we trade these things, and that's if we can even get them to the depot in time. Pages and pages of it. Eh, not too bad. Let's see. Broker, you need to get there. The trader does. Who is my trader? That is Jaclar, who I believe is also our animal trainer, who I believe has no other jobs to really worry about. So he should be able to arrive, yeah. He'll get there. And then we'll do a little bit of trading. Quickly, my minions, I carry the mugs to the ghouls. You know how much they love rock mugs? I don't know what all this spam is either. It's a little bit excessive, but let's see. Announce most job cancellations? Maybe? Maybe I can filter that out a little bit? Mm, probably not. And yeah, the merchants are getting ready to leave. And of course, J. Clark goes to sleep. There needs to be an alarm that you can ring that says, Broker, get your ass up here. This is the most important thing on the menu. Okay, so we do have somebody here. And what do you know? They actually know how much these things are worth. You can see they're not worth really anything. 10 dwarf bucks, 20 dwarf bucks, occasionally 30 dwarf bucks. There we go. So we have 810 dwarf bucks to work with. Not much at all. Um, I will trade for a bunch of bins, because I don't have any of those yet. And food. Because, um... I'm guessing they didn't bring very much stuff for us if we're already at the food. Normally food is the last thing you run across. Tons of cloth. 
hemp fiber cloth that we don't really need. Okay. I'm going to try to get a little bit more food out of them. They may not want us to make this much profit. But, oh well, let's see. And, oh! <laughs> no! Well, we don't get shit. Because I just gave everything away, apparently. I pressed O. Instead of actually reading what the button did, I just... I assumed... No, I assumed wrongly. It was either O or T. T is for trade. O is to give everything up. I mean, we get we did get a little bit of goodwill from that. Uh, where's the civilization screen? The Belted Griefers. The Belted Grief. Let's see, they are ran by... They have a chief ghoul trader. I wonder if that's the one here. Zusp Gasp. Zusp Gasp. Merchant, 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 no. That would have been neat if their leader would have been here. Their chief. Maybe we could have taken him ransom or something. But yeah, that might get us a little bit, a little goodwill from them, seeing as how we just gave them some stuff. At the very least, it will, um, well, I don't even know if that will count for our exported wealth here. We'll find out if the exported wealth goes up. Whenever they leave. Okay, we're gonna try this again. Ridiculous. Okay, we don't have nearly as much money. Only 330. I don't want the logs. I will take... Um, again, some bins here. And maybe I can get some cheap food. I'm not going to give them too much profit this time, at least starting off. Because we already off we already gave them a bunch of crap. They should give this stuff to us in goodwill. Nope. He's going to get mad and want to leave. Oh, come on. Yes, yeah, now he won't trade with us. What a dick. This is why I hate traders. I know they want to make a profit, but come on. We're trying to move goods around here. Your food's gonna spoil on your next trip anyways, you jerks. And then what? Then you're not gonna make any money on it. You can at least take our finely crafted vault mugs and trade them around the wasteland. Oh well. There they go. Good, get out of here, scumbags. Don't come back either. Next time we'll have guns waiting for you. So it is um, 19th Hematite, the year 372. We've made it through the first year, thankfully. And it's early summer, a population of 51. Things are real peace peaceful. The only thing we really ever have to worry about, it seems like, is the occasional bighorner or vulture stumbling upon our camp here. Um, I think whenever we come back, we're going to continue doing the same thing that we're doing here. I probably will hopefully start working on the mine track. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more reading about it, and then whenever we come back, I'll just test some stuff out and uh, see what happens. We've got more than enough vault dwellers that we can afford to lose a handful of them or more in the testing process.